Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class by computer, chapter 5, making a powerful presentation. So minimum level of learning, students should be able to select a perfect design for his work and uh, you should apply animation effects and uh, a student should uh, be able to give proper setting for printing the document in page setup. So in this uh, unit you will be uh, learning about design menu, transition menu, animation menu, viewing uh, uh, presentation in different ways and uh, previewing and printing a presentation, showing presentation using projector. All these will be seen in this chapter. First let us open PowerPoint presentation. A PowerPoint presentation is made up of a series of slides. We will see that. So what is in this PowerPoint presentation? So it contains charts, diagrams, pictures, multimedia, so all those things you can use in PowerPoint presentation. First click on Start All Programs Microsoft Office and Microsoft PowerPoint 2007. So I'll just open this PowerPoint presentation now. So this is the PowerPoint presentation. So you can see office buttons here. In home tab, you can see office button. Then you can see insert, design, animations, slideshow. All these you can uh, see. So these are tabs and uh, this is zoom control you can see zoom in zoom out here view button you can see normal view slide sorter view and slideshow view and this is status bar and this is presentation window so what you see uh, on the white screen is called as presentation window so first we'll see about design menu so this powerpoint presentation is made up of series of slides that can contain charts, diagrams, pictures, smart chart diagrams, bulleted list, multimedia video, sound clips. So let us see the design menu. Sometimes we need to design a presentation slide and make them look nice. So we'll see design menu. In design menu you can see page setup slide orientation so many designs are available here you can choose your own design here suppose if i am choosing this design all your slides will be in that design next we'll see transition menu so the transitions allow you to get creative with your slides so we'll see how to use this transition click on animation you can see different effects here so whichever transition you want you can choose so there is transition sound here so i'll make two or three slides here so here you can create new slide duplicate delete all these options are available let me uh, click this transition and keep a sound here and transition speed is slow so this is the transition i have set for this so let us see how this transition works so this is the sound next we'll see animation menu so animation will allow you to add visual effects and moments to text so here you can see custom animation. So suppose if I have a text here. Class 5 computer. So if you want to add effect for this, click on add effect. So you can uh, do whichever you want. Entrance blank. So this will be. added animation like this so if i click play so you will be getting like this can you see the animation 
transition and animation. Next, you can also uh, have the option of on click with previous or after previous. Direction, horizontal or vertical, you can choose. And speed, very slow, slow, medium, fast, very fast also you can choose. Next, viewing presentation in different ways. So you can view presentation in different ways. First one is, we'll see slide sorter view. So in this first one, managing slides in the slide sorter view. Click on view, click slide sorter where you will be seeing miniature of each slide. The slide sorter view not only gives you a great view for your presentation as a whole, but it also helps you to arrange or hide your slides. If you wish to increase or decrease the size of each slide, you can uh, adjust in this slide sorter view. Next, we'll see running a presentation in the slide sorter view. So we'll see how to run in this view. So you can choose light show. So from beginning, if you give, you will get the presentation from the beginning or from the current slide you can choose. Next we'll see previewing and printing a presentation. Click on home. So first option you have to click print preview so this is the preview of your presentation before printing next we'll sit, see uh, if you click uh, close print preview you will uh, have this place uh, In this, you can see options like print, options, slides, and fit to window, next page. So next page or previous page you can see, then close print preview. So if you close, you will uh, get out of that window. Next, selecting page setup option. So this you can do in design. page setup so here you can see the designs that you want so here you can see portraits landscape in page setup you can see with height and number slides from portrait or uh, landscape so all these you can manage so you can customize based on your requirement Next, we'll see how to print a presentation. Click on the main menu, this uh, left top circle button, then click on print. And if you give print, you can see this option. So where you can choose the options, number of copies you want, uh, print slides, color, all this you can choose. Next, we'll see how to show presentation using a projector. Open PowerPoint and select slideshow. And then go to setup slideshow option. So here you have to select multiple monitors. So this uh, system is not connected with the projector so if it is connected you will uh, see this icon enabled so you can click the options there so this is all about making a powerful presentation so we saw may, uh, so many uh, features design menu animations transitions viewing presentation previewing and printing presentation how to show a presentation using projector so next we'll see the assignment topics for this chapter so these are the assignment 
for this chapter create a presentation select a perfect design for your powerpoint file based on project given by different subject teachers apply different animation effects on different objects used in the slides give proper setting for printing the document in page setup so this is the assignment from this chapter so first go through this chapter go through this video once again understand and learn the concepts the same you can practice in your uh, ms uh, powerpoint presentation then you can try this assignment so hope this video is useful we'll see in the next video thanks for watching